Gregory Corper speaks for his people. The Moroni people have always lived in this valley. This is our land. Always we fight if any other people tries to take it away from us. Before the white men come to Bougainville, we hunt possums and wild pigs in the valley. We caught some crabs and we work in our gardens. First came the men looking for gold. My father was boss boy for them. They found a little gold there at Penn Hill. Then in 1964, CRA come here. These men come looking for copper. I hear somebody talk to me. There will be big company come to your Maroni area. With some people, I go to see them and tell them, you cannot come to my valley. I was not happy because I did not know this kind of business before. When they are walking around like this, I talk strong to CRA and the government. I don't like you walk around this valley too many times. They don't hear me. They tell me, no, this something belong all the country. We must do this. It belongs to everybody in Papua and New Guinea. You play work long RM Radio Bougainville, BL9BA, you brought Kasi Kam Long Kieta, Long District Bougainville. Now here is the latest news about the copper project at Panguna. The House of Assembly at Port Moresby today approved the granting to CRA of a mining lease over the land there. A new company called Bougainville Copper is being formed to run the huge open-cut operation. The House of Assembly was told that the project would more than double the territory's export income. At present, government officers are travelling around to talk to the people about all these things. Now, before me, Billy talking, you Billy along. So, a company here, CRA, come inside, like, look, look, shall we along? He got copper or no got? Now, be, all he find him, he got copper, and all he walk along finding copper, he not long get up in big full of business or no got? No got. Oh, no matter, I ain't young, I know more on no one is Moroni, back up or say one? Is. It didn't surprise anyone that the Moronis were angry over the land situation. It's not just a block of dirt to them, it's part of them, body and soul. Their whole social system is based on land. The land is owned by the ancestors now dead, the present occupiers and by the unborn generations to come. The occupiers have rights to use the land, to lease, but not to destroy it. From as early as 1966, we've been telling all the villagers as much as we knew of the project and tried to put them into the picture as to the future developments. It was difficult even for us to envisage what was going to happen. You can imagine how bewildering it must be for the Moronis. <laughs> 